Hello YouTube, this is John. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to connect an Ethernet cable on two laptops and in order to for you to send files over the network. And this is going to be a network of two. Right now, I have a Samsung, a TVBook 2 and a Lenovo idea pad. So first of all, what you're going to do, I've connected my cable from this side to that side. Then what you're going to do, I want you to click on here on the network, as you can see. Uh, I want you to go and say open networks and when you go to open networks I want you to go to this side change adapter settings hope you can see it clearly then this network of ethernet is disabled so I want you to enable that adapter and the other side we are going to do the same thing we are going to go and look for the network and here it shows that the network have started to communicate but we have not reached where the point is of so when you reach this side i want you to go to properties and give this network an ip so that you can be able to communicate with the other computer so in this case i'm going to give it an ip that looks like this one dot We'd call this for then a subnet mask then after i click enter okay then i go back here i do the same then i go back down to this protocol i put the ip address i have to make sure the ip addresses look almost the same you don't have to interchange them and i'm going to call this one click there then okay enter so in order for me to communicate with these two computers i have to go let me close this i have to go and open the command prompt and in your case you can go and search for cmd and to come from here then when you reach here i want you to type in this command ping then ip that we use the other side then the other one is one now i'm being able to send a request and it has replied back then i'll do the same this side I go to CMD. I say ping our IP address dot one six eight dot one four, and now it is communicating very well. Then the next step, what I want you to do, I want you to go to networks and as you can see you can see all these two pieces the johnson pc is this one and then the amina dash pc is this one then if i go to networks again here i'll be able to to see the johnson pc so in this computer i have a shared file a shared drive which is called drive e which is apps and if i come back here in order to enter the other side to see the shared documents actually i entered the credentials and you can check in my previous video i'm going to put the link so when i click here i can go and see what's in the drive e so when i'm here i'm going to send a video So here I can now transfer files. I'm sending this video. When I drop it, it will come this side. Actually, it's a song. It will automatically come this side. And now I can transfer files. And this is good to transfer like movies if you don't have a big USB flash drive. So this is how things work. 
In my next video, I'm going to show you how to do a remote desktop on this computer. And this is the same. And I can also, let me also share my drive here. Actually, it is shared. Then I want to access this PC from this side. So I'm going to go to networks. I click on Johnson PC, then I'm going to click Dev. When I click on Dev, I'm going to put in the password of my computer. Then I can remember this PC to log in anytime someone wants to access it. So right now here I have the users. And I also have the F drive, which is this one here. Then when I click on F, I can see all the information on the other side. And I can also copy those files to this PC. Like right now, I can transfer files from my drive, which is called E. I can transfer this. Uh, let me get an image. I'm going to transfer this, this side. And you can do a lot of things using this process. So thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, please subscribe to this channel. Click the bell icon, comment for more help. I'll be able to reply you within 24 hours. Thanks for watching. Have a nice time. Goodbye.